Hi, welcome to Scrap Cat Cards by Linda. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to make peanut brittle. Um, hopefully my sister will watch this video and then she'll know how to make it because she keeps asking me how. So here's the video. It's pretty easy. Uh, you need a large microwavable bowl to cook it in. You need a measuring bowl, measuring cup to measure the Kira Serpin. You need vanilla, Kira Syrup. I like to use raw Spanish peanuts. My microwave directions in my microwave book say to use uh, dry roasted peanuts, but I like the raw Spanish peanuts best. You need sugar and you need baking soda. Oh, and a little bit of salt. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the Kira syrup, and I've been making peanut brittle all afternoon, so I'm just reusing my measuring cup here. And I need a half a cup of Kiro syrup. And pour that in here in my wooden spoon. Which is over here. Syrup in. And one cup of sugar. Very healthy stuff. <laughs> then what I'm going to do is put this in the microwave for three and a half minutes. And halfway through the three and a half minutes, I will stir it one time. Okay, the three and a half minutes are up, and so it's nice and hot. I've measured a cup of the Spanish, the raw Spanish peanuts in this measuring cup. I'm going to put, oh, about a half a teaspoon or less of salt in here. Some people don't even put salt in their peanut brittle. I just like the way it tastes, and the rest of my family are big, big salt eaters. <laughs> um, and like I said, it's a very healthy treat. <laughs> Okay, so you stir that in, and you're going to cook this for three minutes. So, so far, it's only taken um, six minutes. Okay, so now the peanuts have cooked for three minutes, and the total time so far has been six and a half minutes. Now I'm putting in the butter and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I need to stir that in. Ooh, can you hear how hot it is? And get the butter all mixed in there. It gives it a really nice flavor. I'll scrape those off there. Now I'm going to put it back in the microwave for one more minute. While that's cooking, what I'm going to do is measure one teaspoon of baking soda. And the baking soda is what makes it fun. <laughs> kind of foams up and makes the magic, I think. Okay, then you quickly take it out, and it's hot and bubbly. You pour the baking powder in and stir that up really good so that it gets all nice and foamy. It should be a nice golden color. Get it all mixed in good. And once you have it mixed in, you're going to put pour it on your greased um, cookie sheet. And I like to spread it out all over the cookie sheet because I'm eventually going to pull it because I want it to be thin and it wants to foam up right now, so. And I like my peanut brittle kind of thin and crispy instead of real hard. Okay, now the bowl, or the microwave 
um, Pyrex just looks just awful and it looks like you're never going to get it clean. But all I do is boil some water, put it in a sink with really hot water and all of this um, will come off of it. So now what has to happen is this has to cool a little bit until I'm ready, until I can lift it up and pull it and flip it over. So I'm going to let that cool for a little bit, then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, it's about halfway cooled off, not completely, but it's enough that I can kind of stretch it a little bit. And the middle is still very, very hot. Oops, sorry. Kick the stand. I just keep kind of pulling it like that and then pretty soon I'll be able to take a piece and actually like flip it over. So what I do is flip it over like that so that the peanuts and the brittle part, you know, kind of spread around. And I'll show you how I do that. And it's got to cool off just a little bit more. Okay, I think it's ready to turn over. The plant pan's still pretty hot, but I can take it like this and just flip the whole thing over like that until, see, it's still kind of stretchy, so it's not cooled off. It's still very hot. But I like to stretch it <laughs> just so it's not, I don't like real thick, you know, chunks of peanut brittle. This way it can melt in your mouth and it's just really tasty peanut brittle. So I hope you like the video and I hope you can use this to make your own peanut brittle and I hope you have a happy holiday. Thanks for stopping. Bye bye. I forgot to show you one important part. After it completely cools, then it's real hard. It's brittle and then you can break it. So I've got that part. The important part of peanut brittle is that it gets at the very end when it's completely cool, it gets nice and brittle and you can break it into nice sized pieces um, to send to your family and friends for Christmas. Oh, and I should tell you about the little Santa man. That was something that my dad carved for me years ago. Um, I used to have a craft business where I made old time Santas and I would dress them and he would carve the faces. But one Christmas he carved my mom and my sister and myself each one of these Santas. So it's pretty special to me. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.